That's right, we're changing Blender forever. But what does that mean? Well, this is Blender. Like most 3D software, it was built primarily for photorealistic rendering. And that's great for most artists, but it does make it more difficult to do stuff like this. This is NPR, non-photorealistic rendering. Generally speaking, it's a style that has to do with making 3D look 2D. This is the style that we at Dylan Goo Studios specialize in. If you've been following animation trends for the past few years, you may have noticed that ever since Spider-Verse, tons and tons of new CG movies and TV shows have been adopting a more hand-drawn look. Now, this has been a amazing to see. I mean, I'm a huge fan of the style, but what people don't know is that it's incredibly difficult to make these kinds of stylized renders at a high level and at a large scale. At the moment, most 3D software is built with photorealistic rendering in mind, not stylized rendering, which means in order to make it stylized, you got to break the rules that the engine understands just to make what you want. And obviously this can lead to a bunch of issues, especially when working with a large team. And this makes it risky for large studios to do these kinds of movies. There is an ideal scenario where we have 3D software built from the ground up to support NPR without having to break everything apart and put it back together again. This would make stylized rendering more accessible not only to large studios, but to individual artists like you guys. This is exactly why we created and released Goo Engine. Now, if you've heard of Goo Engine, stay tuned because I have a huge announcement to make. But if you haven't, it's a stylized rendering version of Blender that allows you to do exactly what I'm talking about. It's got NPR support without having to break everything apart. We use it ourselves on all our projects because it helps us make 3D anime and has been irreplaceable with how much control it gives us over the renders. And it's not only been a game changer for us, but for so many of you guys in the community who have been making amazing things with Goo Engine. Now, here's the bad news. Goo Engine 4.2 isn't coming as soon as we hoped. If you guys don't know, 4.2 deprecated EV Legacy, which is what Goo Engine uses as its backend. But that's not the only reason. The truth is, we've been working on something else. And I promise it's for a very good reason. Which brings us to the big news. We are officially joining the Blender development team in building stylized rendering directly into Blender. That's right, Blender will finally have native support for NPR and stylized rendering. We're gonna have a lot of cool things to talk about. Soon you guys will have tools specifically designed for NPR. With these tools that we're building into Blender, I honestly believe we're going to see a renaissance in stylized filmmaking. Now, the amazing team at Blender has always been aware of the importance of stylized rendering, but they haven't had the bandwidth or experience to prioritize it. Honestly, it's difficult to know how to build an engine when you don't know how people are going to use it, and that's where we come in. We've been building and using Goo Engine for years to make stylized films in a studio pipeline, and we'll be bringing that professional experience to the table when designing a practical stylized render engine. Not only that, but late as usual, our head developer at Dylan Goo Studios for Goo Engine will be contributing code directly to the engine alongside Miguel, an amazing developer at Blender who is the lead developer on BNPR's Malt or Beer, and several more of Blender's own developers. In fact, we've already begun. Not only is there an NPR prototype that's available to download right now, we've also added light linking into Blender 4.3. Yeah, that was us. By working directly with Blender, we'll be able to add more flexible features than we ever could before with Goo Engine. But how do we know exactly what features to add? Well, we won't until we use the engine ourselves. Therefore, in Blender tradition, we'll also be developing an open movie project that specifically uses the stylization features we build for Blender. Now, while Blender is funding part of the development, they won't be funding the open movie or our contributions to the code, which means we'll be funding the development for this and the open movie project primarily through our Patreon. Everyone who has donated over the past few years to support Goo Engine and our projects has been part of making this moment possible. And so, to thank you guys for being here and supporting this journey, we're releasing some of our best production tested assets to Patreon right now. These include the famous post box scene from Your Name, which we recreated in 3D, the road from Nameless Road, the environments from Arknights, and more. And not to mention, as the open movie enters production next year, more assets will be added to the Patreon. I know some of you are wondering, when is the NPR stuff actually going to be integrated into Native Blender? Could be two years from now. It depends on the timeline. These things take time. But for those of you guys who are curious, we are still working on Goo Engine at the same time. Now, Goo Engine 4.2 is difficult to get working right now because EV Legacy was deprecated, but we'll still be updating 4.1 as much as we can. As we update Goo Engine, we're going to be sharing that on our Patreon as usual. And these updates include quality of life features that we're still doing, even the 4.1, which we just released two new versions of 4.1. We've got a Mac build that finally works for M1 and M2 users. We've got half Lambert, all sorts of things that we just put in there ourselves, and you guys now have. But yeah, if you want to see those updates, link down below. Those are also going live today, so very exciting. Now, I just want to have a serious moment with you guys with how much this moment has meant to me and to many others. Stop Stylized animation has always been undersupported in 3D software. We finally have a chance to create a future where stylized rendering is the norm, not the exception. 
If you support us on Patreon, you'll get the assets we talked about, the entire Open Movies project files, and Goo Engine updates. You also get access to our Studio Discord server, where you can ask us questions or watch us work behind the scenes. But you'll also be changing the course of 3D animation forever. And even if you're not an artist, I invite you to join us to help bring stylized rendering to Blender, the most accessible 3D software in the world. And maybe, just maybe, we can change the course of history. Thank you.